does and just looking at the B final as it's shaping up that all that that means all the swimmers now in the B final under the one minute mark. That's right. That uh, subject to confirmation, Mark Elric, who was uh, the slowest of the 16, is uh, probably going to drop out once that's got con confirmation. So Mark Elric would become the first reserve. But there is every chance, of course, that Mark will get a swim. There's uh, likelihood we will get the odd withdrawal or two being a Sunday night. Some of these swimmers will maybe be heading off uh, maybe to places like Aberdeen. Dundee or forever. We saw a few last night not taking their place in the finals, concentrating on certain events rather than others. Some of them have qualified for two or three events possibly tonight. That's right. So um, they'll maybe choose if they've made three finals just to say, right, okay, enough is enough. I'll just uh, do one, concentrate on the one or just do the two. So it gives uh, some of the reserves the chance to take part and might even give uh, an opportunity for any swimmers that are in a B final to move into the A final and have a chance of a medal. Well, what a great contest this is for the two swimmers in the first heat of the women's 100 backstroke. Neve McIntosh in line three from Portobello and Lucy Trotter from Warrender in lane number four. So, Portobello swimmer Eve McIntosh probably just edging it here. And Warren Dart in lane number four. Lucy Trotter, three one hundred separating them at the turn. But it looks like Neve McIntosh maybe just pulling away here in the closing stages. 117 was the entry time. It is a little bit closer than I thought, but it is going to be McIntosh. And she comes in in 116.71. She will be pleased with that one. An improvement for McIntosh with Trotter in second position. Lucy improving by... Oh, sorry. Just got confirmation of that one. Yeah, improvement on her time there. And then about 0.3 of a second or thereabouts for the Portobello swimmer. Her entry time was uh, 117 dead, so as you say, Paul, 0.29 of improvement. Seven swimmers go in this one. We have Eve Corrigan, Wander Bass in lane one, Ella Wood, Hartley Midlothian in two, another Wander swimmer, Abby Sinclair in three, Ren 96, Esther Jamison goes in four, five, Megan McFarlane, Swim West Lothian, her teammate Beth and Paro in seven. Another heart swimmer, Rowan McGill, goes in seven. So, strong contingent from the Lothians in this one. Just the one swimmer from out with East District. That's lane four, Esther Jimison. And on the near side, Eve Corrigan, 35-73. Abby Sinclair, her teammate, 36-55. Warner 1-2, Paul, at the halfway mark. Wonder doing very well here. And Eve Corrigan again upsetting the seeding here, but only 0.7 of a second between all the swimmers in this heat. So all to play for, you would say. Abby Sinclair, though, coming back strongly. Two Warrender swimmers now coming into the closing stages. It's going to be Warrender 1 and 2. It's going to be Abby Sinclair taking that one in 113.60. A very good time. Great improvement on the 116.27. Some good improvements from two or three of these swimmers in that heat. Ella Wood also improving on her entry time by 0.12. Ben McGill also improving, I think, on her time by a fraction. So four out of seven improvements, Paul. So that's very much uh, what we've had for a lot of the events so far this afternoon. Warrender 1 and 2, Hearts 3 and 4 are the big rivalry. Yeah, very, very competitive, both these clubs in Edinburgh. Warrender being the, the bigger of the two clubs. And certainly uh, across uh, the whole district, they're the, the club to, to try and go one better. Everybody tries to do their best to uh, 
get on top of Warner, but uh, strength that they have, good coaching set up there. Well, the next heat is underway. Heat number three, Erin Comrie from Burnt Island in one. Nifa Doyle from Warrender in lane two. Ailey McNeil goes in lane three from Fault House. Alice Walker Stewart from Hartem and Lothian in five. Megan McCormack, Mulgain Bearsden in six. Rebecca O'Donnell, Inverleith in seven. And Ailsa Kellis from Burnt Island in lane number eight. So Alice Walker Stewart from Hart. She's had a good couple of days featuring at in the front of some of the heat swims. Uh, she's been fairly prominent. She's a uh, 17 year old, so I, she's, uh, though she's an older swimmer, she just enjoys getting in the pool and competing against some of these younger girls. And she's competing fairly well here. It looks as though she still just holds a slight lead over Megan McCormack in six, who's also going well. Rebecca O'Donnell in seven. That looks as though that might be her one, two, three. A good swim there from Alice. She takes that 116 43. Fraction slower than our entry time. Megan McCormack, 116.89 in second. Rebecca O'Donnell, 116.90. So that heat a little bit slower there, Paul. None of these girls uh, improving on their entry time, but nevertheless, a good race. Yeah, Alice taking that one, 116.43. Well, that's what we like to see, some close contests here. Megan McCormack for Warren Dutt. Second position, we move on to heat number four now. Kirsty McNair, Kirkintillach. Goes close to us there. To the left of your screen. Not using the backstroke ledge. Of course, again, like we said with the caps, not compulsory to use the backstroke leg and uh, ledge. And some of these swimmers won't have had an opportunity to practice with That's the ledges. That's, that's part of it. Uh, these are fairly new mechanisms. So some of these youngsters, Kirsty McNair, Kirk and Tullock, small club, they certainly won't have that in situ to practice on. But it didn't, didn't do her any harm at the start. She got off to a very good start over on the far side. Hannah Murray, Dundee City Aquatics. She's gone off very, very well. And she, in fact, is vying for the lead, along with Elias McQueenie, the City of Glasgow, in lane four. And it's uh, lane four, Elias McQueenie, fastest on entry time, her entry time 114.70. And she's beginning to pull somewhere ahead of the rest of the field. So, certainly lane four, and over on the far side, good swim from Hannah Murray. Elias, just a 12 year old, so we've had some tracking swims by some of these young lassies. Super time there, 114.04, improvement on our 114.70, so good swim all round there. Neve Tierney finishing strongly to take third. She looked to be fairly happy, 116.10. Yeah, Hannah Murray just a tenth behind Neve Tierney. And Christy McNair in fifth position there. See the, the starting ledges going in again. Most of the swimmers using these in this particular heat. We have, looks like the eight swimmers in the water for this one. Elle McMillan from St. Thomas being very good on the freestyle events, especially the distance freestyle events. Harry Stewart from Cumbernauld in two. Javon Fraser in three from Cumbernauld. Nicole McFarlane, Warrender in lane number four. Rachel Gillespie, Mulgain Bears then in five. Sarah Fife from Warrender in six. Lucy Robertson from Heart of Midlothian in seven. And Iona Patterson from Mulgain Bears then in lane number eight. Pretty even as they go into the turn. Looks like the Hearts girl on seven has just come through, just take, take, take it up from Siobhan Fraser from Cumbernauld. 
And that's where it is, 3529, 3582. So let's see if the Hearts girl can kick on over on the far side. She certainly looks as though she's doing that. Siobhan Fraser doing well just to maintain second. Very close for third. Lane four, Nicole McFarlane from Warner coming through to challenge along with Rachel Gillespie and Sarah Fife. And However, it's a very comfortable win for Lucy Robertson, 114.41. Oh, it's a big improvement from the Hearts girl. That's the fastest we've seen so far. Second is Siobhan Fraser and third, Nicole McFarlane. But what a super swim by Lucy Robertson, 114.41, 111.81. Oh, that's very, very good indeed. Very swift there from Lucy Robertson. Again, another one of these youngsters, just 14 years of age this year. Lucy Robertson takes that one. And the uh, Hearts girls doing very well in terms of the, the junior champions. A number of champions that we've seen from, from Hearts right. over the last couple of days. Yeah, well, 15-year-old age groups, you, as you know, Lexi Waller, very dominant. Uh, young lady called Anna McFarlane. Uh, she's also a very good backstroke swimmer. She was running up to Lexi. In fact, she actually swam faster than all the 16-year-olds, uh, although she was only second to Lexi. Uh, so good pedigree at Hearts on backstroke. They've got some uh, good young girls coming through. This is heat number six now. We have Morvan Roth from Perth at the bottom of your screen there. We have Millie Brown from Gala in lane number two. Jessica Grimley from Fault House in three. Morvan Lister back in the water again in four. Morgan Carmichael from Rutherglen in five. Maria Cabrelli from Dundee City Aquatics in lane number six. And in lane number seven, Sarah Anderson East Lothian. BB Kitchen, Milgain Bears Den in eight. It is Morvan Lister, Carnegie leads them through the 50. This is going to be a close one to call, Paul. There's about four or five here, almost in a line. Lane two, Mally Brown might just have a slight advantage. Lane four, Morvan Lister also well up there. And in lane seven, Sarah Anderson. This is going to be on the touch. Seven, Sarah Anderson looks as though she's going to get this from four and two. We'll leave the judges. It looks like two and four. We'll wait for that. Yeah, it's seven, two and four. That's Sarah Anderson, 113.37. Mally Brown, 113.62, 113.73 in lane four. So not a bad call to get that one right, Paul. Uh, Sarah Anderson taking that one very close indeed. We've seen some really close uh, tussles there. And as an official, Robert, close close finishes. You have uh, the officials have got to kind of be sure that the swimmers are finishing in the in the right order. Electronic timing must make a difference, must come El into it. Yeah, as long as the electronic timing operates, then the electronic timing on the board is what the referee will go with unless there is a consensus across the pool that uh, something is clearly wrong and occasionally that does happen there is a, a backup button that the officials use we also have a watch so there's a few mechanisms before we get an official result if there is a problem with the pads uh, but at the end of the day it's always the benefit of the doubt to the swimmer uh, should there be any dispute well, let's hope there's no disputes in these races. Now, we are seeing some very, very close contests indeed. And here is the latest one. Beth Geel in one, Ellen Smith in two, Gemma McLeod in three, Ellen Voot in four, Rachel Grant in five, Anna Mel McGregor in six, Anna Galloway in seven, and Lucy Williamson in lane number eight. Anna Mel McGregor looking very good there in lane number six, also going well. Down at the bottom here, Beth Gill, Ellen Smith and Gemma McLeod. It is very, very close indeed here. It may well be the swimmers closest to us who are going to take this one. It could be lane number two, possibly Ellen Smith, or is it Beth Gill? It is Beth Gill in one, 12.11, two tenths ahead of Ellen Smith, and it was lanes one two and three in first second and third well done paul again another victory for uh, hearts on backstroke
Just coming back to that, uh, so far the finalists, we have Lexi Waller in the final in fourth position. And as I mentioned earlier, Anna McFarlane, her teammate, is in the B final. Um, no mean feat, given that this is an open event and we have swimmers of various ages. We have the great Hannah Miley, who's also in the final. Christy Simpson, also in that final. She's had some cracking swims over the weekend, Paul. So, uh, lots of excitement to look forward to tonight. However, back to the proceedings this afternoon. Heat number eight. Kristen Barrett, Weston Barton, one. Ellie Collier, Carnegie, two. Sophie Morlin, Swimway Slowly in three. Sophie Cameron, South Ayrshire in four. Ellie Lister, Carnegie in five. Catherine Ruff from Perth City in lane six. Victoria McCormack, South Ayrshire as uh, not taking part in this one. And Nina Johnston from first in lane eight. And a good start in lane number four. Sophie Cameron from South Ayrshire. It looks like she is going to be first to the wall here. Well, time for the first reserve position, 108.76. Well, it's a possibility, I think, for some of these swimmers. 34.24, it's going to have to be a pretty even split there if any of these swimmers are going to get back into the 108 range here to try and make their way into a reserve position. Anything under the 110, though, would be good for these swimmers. 110.70, the fastest entry time from Sophie Cameron. And she is going to come home in front here. Let's hope she can just dip under that 110 mark. Into the finish now. Here she comes, Sophie Cameron. Well, 110.62 is an improvement. Eight one hundreds of a second for Sophie Cameron. Followed home by Catherine Ruff from Perth in 112.67 and Kirsten Barrett 112.72. Yeah, I mean, finding that most of these swimmers now in the later heats getting fairly close to their entry times. Fastest swimmer in our last heat, Molly Young, is in a 109.28, so she's got to improve by just over half a second. Doesn't maybe seem like a lot. However, for a 15-year-old, you know, they'll be doing their best to improve by a second or s if they can. Really got to go out probably around the 33 second mark if she's got to have any chance but L, all these swimmers are going to be pretty near the 33 seconds at the split as you can see it looks like all of them using the mechanisms judges come up just to ch check that the toes are on the pads and we are off with the last heat Katrina McManus East Lothian in one Lucy Ross East Kilbride two Caitlin Dodds Finns in three Molly Young City of Glasgow four Amy Malone Stirling Swim in five Nicola Lee Swim West Lothian six Sophie Dodd Dumfries Dolphins in seven and Lindsay Jack Gala in lane eight and let's see if uh, the centre lanes can do something here Paul Molly Young and Amy Malone in five and they're going pretty well Paul they are indeed Caitlin Dodds has swum a lot of races this weekend as well and Sophie Dodd also has had a good couple of swims there and they go over in 33.49 for Molly Young she leads them over ahead of Amy Malone well it's a, a possibility here she's got to come back very strongly but she is capable of doing that Molly Young looks like she's on for a good time Amy Malone chasing her in lane number five and these swimmers now coming into the last 10 metres. The clock, you can see, just ticking over there. Round about 105, 106. We'll have a look at the clock here. It is 108.97. Oh, goodness, she's missed out by 0.2 of a second for that B-final reserve spot. But a good swim from Molly Young, dipping under the 109 mark. She will be pleased with that one. Amy Malone, also under the 110 in 109.59. 